Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Talk Now. I'm Larry and today we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to take a look at some of the different meme coins that are out there, but we're not going to look at just any old meme coin. We're going to look specifically at dog meme coins. So what's the father of all meme coins? Obviously Dogecoin. And then who's the runner up? Who's following in Dogecoin's footsteps and might overtake Dogecoin someday? Shiba Inu. Now I'm not picking one or the other because I do like both of the coins, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. But what I want to do today is I want to try to figure out and I want you guys to help me down below in the comment section. Tell me which one do you think, what token out there is going to be the next Shiba Inu? Which one do you think is going to follow in the footsteps? Um, is it going to be something that's not even a, uh, a meme coin? Is it going to be something that is not a, uh, a dog meme coin like Saitama? Which one do you think is really going to skyrocket? Um, so we're going to look at seven different dog meme coins today. And let's go ahead and take a look at the screen in just a couple seconds here. So we'll start out with uh, Shiba Inu. Actually, it's at the start of this video it was down a little bit. We were doing a little show prep here and now I notice it's up 10%. So it's bouncing up nicely. It had a good weekend. Um, and you can see over here, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is picking up a little bit after kind of just treading water. It's up 4.3%. Uh, Again, this is Crypto Bubbles. If you guys haven't been there, go ahead and check it out, CryptoBubbles.net. I just think it's a really cool way to see what's going on with the market. Um, you can change it from day to week. Um, you can go ahead and change. Right now we have the top 100. You can change 100 to 200 and so on and so forth. So we're going to bounce over to CoinGecko, CoinGecko.com, which is another one. Some of you guys might be familiar with CoinMarketCap. Some like to use CoinGecko. I use both of those. So over here, we've got the first uh, dog meme coin that I want to take a look at, and that is Doge Girlfriend. Remember, none of this stuff in the video today is going to be financial advice. You guys do need to do your own research. You need to investigate the coins on your own. I'm going to show you how I do sort of a little bit of a quick research on these coins, on these tokens, without taking a really deep dive into it. Just trying to see if we can see some things on the surface. So one of the things that we look at, um, we want to make sure we have a contract address here. If you're going to buy the coin, ultimately, you want to make sure that you uh, copy this address off of a reputable site like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. So you've got the address here. You've got the website right over here. Um, you've got Etherscan, and we'll show you how to use that in a second if you're not familiar with it. And then you have the social community stuff. You have Reddit, Twitter, Telegram, Discord, um, and Medium. So one of the quick things I like to do, the first thing I like to start with is usually Twitter. So for Doge Girlfriend, let's take a look at their Twitter. And I'm just really looking at one number right now. I'm just looking at the number of followers they have. So they have... 1,586 followers. So that's kind of on the low side. They did join uh, May 2021. Bouncing back over here to uh, CoinGecko. Um, the next thing that we want to take a look at is the Etherscan. And we don't have to do this in any particular order, but the things that I like to look at is Twitter, Etherscan, and their website. So if we look at Etherscan, we're looking really to see how many holders they have. So coming over here, you're on Etherscan. You can click over here on holders. And this is going to give you the top 1,000 holders from a total of, there's the number we're looking for. They have 3,936 holders right now as of October 25th, 2021. So that's a decent amount of holders. Um, this right here, in case you guys don't know, this wallet says black hole. This is a dead wallet that they burned the coins to. So they burned 50% of the, of the tokens. So that's something important to look at to see who the top holders are. This one here has got 19%, 4.5%. So there's no really big holders except for this second one right here at almost 20%. So now we've looked at that. Let's go back again to CoinGecko and let's go ahead and take a look at their website for Doge Girlfriend. So here it is, kind of a cute dog with a pink collar. Another Shiba Inu dog. Um, Coming down here, so what I'd like to look at is really two things, the roadmap. So I'll look at that real quick. I'm not gonna go through it here right now, but you wanna kinda look and see 
what they have planned out for the project here on the roadmap. The next thing we look at, which I think is the most important thing aside from the roadmap is the tokenomics. So this is gonna tell you the total supply. You've got the symbol. Um, you've got the burn supply, which we saw on Etherscan. They did burn 50%. You've got the team wallet that's locked. Um, and you have the marketing wallet, which 66% of it is locked. And then you've got the liquidity, which is on Uniswap and SushiSwap. So that's one, that's one there. Now let me know in the comments below if any of you guys hold Doge Girlfriend or if you've been taking a look at it. If you think that it has potential to be the next Shiba Inu, let me know what your vote is for that. So that takes care of Doge Girlfriend. So let's go to the next one, Klee Kai. And here's the symbol right here, Klee. So this one here is down on the day. Um, let's take a look here in the last seven days, it's up 171%, 108% over 14 days and over 1300% in 30 days. So it's done well recently. If we want to see what's going on the entire time, it looks like it was tracked starting on May 15th. And you can see here, it really started going up towards the end of September and the beginning of October started to spike up went sideways a little bit and then just really had a big spike here towards the end of October. So that's pretty good. Now, going back here, let's take a look at the few things that we did before. So we're going to look at their Twitter. And they ironically also joined in May of this year. Now they've got more followers. So that's a positive for this coin, this token. They've got over 11,000 followers on Twitter. That's pretty good. Um, I do like their logo. I think it's it's well done. Um, so they look like they have a pretty good community going there over on Twitter. Um, let's go over and look at their Etherscan, see how many holders they have. So we've got, oh wow, look at that guys. They've got over 20,000 holders. So that's pretty good, so that's a good sign. You wanna look at the number of holders and who they have as far as the followers on Twitter. That gives you a good indication of the community and how popular the token is. Moving over here to Klee's website. Take a look. So this website looks pretty good. Now there's a game I believe that's involved, but you have to own a certain number of coins. Here's the roadmap. Watch the video, you guys can watch it. So they have a little game involved. And just scanning down here, we're looking at their roadmap. We can see that they have a 100 quadrillion token supply and they do a 2% reflect for their holders. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's Klikai. Again, we're just doing some basic research on these. We'd have to go and spend a little more time researching them on the internet, see what kind of um, articles are written about them, see what other people are saying about them on YouTube is another thing that we do. Okay, this one here has been around, uh, Baby Dogecoin. So let's refresh the screen. I think it's, yeah, it's up just a little bit today, 2%. And let's see what's going on. In the last seven days, it's up 10%. 14 days, 69%, and 30 days, 163%. So let's go ahead and look at their Twitter. I think they've got a good following on Twitter. Yeah, they do. They have a very strong following, 316,000. That's really good. And they joined back in January. So they've been around a little bit longer than the previous two tokens that we looked at. So that's really, really good. So now let's go ahead and look at their... BSC scan. So this is a Binance based token. So instead of Ether scan, this is BSC scan, Binance for Binance tokens. So let's see what they got in terms of holders. Wow. So they have a lot of holders. They have 701,000. 
So this coin is really, really um, out there. It looks like a lot of people are active in the community on Twitter and they have a lot of holders. So that's a positive, a really good positive for this coin, for this token. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next token, take a look at it and close out Baby Doge. The next one is Kuma Inu, another one of the Inus. Now we'll refresh the screen, make sure we have an accurate price on it. Whoops, let me try that again. So it's down today, 16%. Again, when you're in doubt, zoom out. So zooming out on the days here, seven days, 6.9%, 14 days, 8.3. And look at that. In the last 30 days, it's up over 2,300%. So it's done well. It's just kind of down here lately. I mean, not a huge game for a crypto in the last seven days, but there could be some consolidation going on. Let's go ahead and jump over on their Twitter account, see what we have. This has really got a healthy following, 44,000. And look at this, they've only joined since October. So let's go back and look at Kuma for, except, for a second. I wanted to see when they started getting tracked on CoinGecko. So you click over on Max, you could do one year. Max is just a little bit easier. And you can see it started getting tracked right around the 15th, 16th of May. And you can see how it started really taking off the beginning of October. So that's really good. So that's that's really strong. I mean, that's a good amount of followers on Twitter and a good amount of holders as well. So let's go ahead and look at their website. And again, we've got another Shiba Inu dog <laughs> or Kuma. So here's the roadmap. They have a donation section. No advanced tokenomics. We believe this token should be as simple as possible. No advanced smart contracts are used. So it's just a very basic one. There doesn't look like there's any reflections or burn mechanisms or taxes in that, which is fine. Now the next one we're gonna take a look at close out some of these windows, is Kishu, Kishu Inu. Let's again refresh. This one was down when I started looking at it this morning, but now it's up over 10%. And the last seven days, 23%, 192% in the last 14 days, and the last 30 days, almost 600% up. Let's see, I'm curious about their Twitter. I haven't looked at it in a while. Oh, wow. They've got a lot of Twitter followers. That's really good since November of last year. So they've been around a while, but that's really healthy. They've got a lot of good followers, which means they probably have a good community as well that support the token. So let's go over here to Etherscan and check out the number of holders. Click on holders and you can see, look at that, that's a lot, 2,118 holders. So this looks like a pretty strong coin here as well. Comment below, let me know what you think about these tokens. So let's go ahead and look at their website. Oh, this one's pretty laid out pretty well. It's a nice website. Community powered, safe and secure. How to get it. MetaMask wallet. Here's the tokenomics. So again, here's the symbol. 2% usage reward thanks to user transactions, DeFi wallets only. So when it gets onto a big exchange, you probably won't get this reward, but you will now for the DeFi um, transactions. 100 quadrillion total supply. So that's that. So we took a brief look at Kishu. Let's close this out. Now let's look at one that's been around too. So this one, Again, is up. When I looked at it this morning, it was down. And this is Dogleon Mars, which has interesting name. It has Doge's name in it, and it also has Elon Musk's first name, obviously, Elon. So that's how they named this coin. The ticker symbol is Elon. 
So coming over here, I think they've got a pretty decent community. Um, you can also look at the number of likes that a coin has or a token has. It has almost 25,000 likes on CoinGecko. Let's go ahead and take a look at Dog Leon Mars' Twitter. So that's good. They joined in April 2021 and they've got 173,000, I'm sorry, 177,000 followers. That's really strong. So come back here. I'm curious to see how many holders there are. So we're going to go into Etherscan. And we're going to click on holders. And look at that. That's pretty good. 79,000 holders, almost 80,000. Coming over here. Let's take a look at their website. There's the moon. That's pretty cool. This looks different. It looks like they redid their website. I don't remember them having the dog um, in the astronaut suit. I do not remember that. So let's look at the tokenomics. 50% of the token supply was donated to Vitalik Buterin. That's the one that was the founder, co-founder of Ethereum and gifted it to charity. 50% of the token supply was permanently locked on Uniswap liquidity pool. So that's good. It's good that they have half of their supply locked and half of it was sent out to charity ultimately. So that seems like a good token too. So let's close out of that. And we've got one more to look at. One more dog meme coin for today, or token. So it's Floki, Floki Emu. Let's refresh and up just a little bit, just under 1% for today. And it's been down a little bit recently. So you can see the seven day, the 14 day, but still up overall in the last 30 days, 31%. Now Floki, for those of you that for those of you that don't know, is the name that Elon Musk named his Shiba Inu puppy, Floki. So that's how they came up with this name for this token. Let's go ahead. I'm curious. I don't remember what they have as far as Twitter followers. That's pretty good. They got 86,000 followers and they joined June of this year. That's pretty good. How about the Ether scan? What does that say? So let's click on holders real quick. So we've got 29,530 holders. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And let's go to the website, thefloki.enu.com. Meet Floki Enu, the community owned crypto inspired by Elon Musk. So let's come down here. Shows you how to buy this website's organized pretty well. Oh, there's Elon Musk's puppy, Floki. So I guess this puppy inspired this token to take off. So you can come down here. So this gives you the tokenomics right here. And you can go ahead and read that. These are all the amount that were burned. So this one is on two blockchains. It's on Ethereum and also Binance. There was a bridge that was made. That's pretty cool. All right, so today, guys, um, we looked at all these different coins or tokens. We looked at seven different meme dog-themed tokens. Go ahead and comment below. Tell me what you think are potential tokens that might moon, that might be the next Shiba Inu or close to that. Tell me which one do you think out of the seven is the best one. Um, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.